it got to a time where you say we lack strength in our method, so we have to make changes. And then the the one that I brought him in and I changed him, that was Isaac. Uh, I realized he said, when you knock, and he got to a point and now, when you know, and how and the tempo of the game, you know, so no. So I can say, or the sun knock, no, I feel now watching you, and I'm trying to find them, Musa, and I'm very affected the team. And see, I've been my injuries, so I can say, they say, your money, but now, you tell me, better say, better team, you need the fresh mind, so I don't. And see, it's a bad change. Serious change. Yeah. It got to a time, you know, Sully was doing well. He was sending passes, but desired to recover and the tackling, you know. I say it me and so the fresh idea it me about game. Yeah, it depends on the training. Not that you score a goal on the match, so that every day I should put you know, I should put you in. What we rehearse at the training that will bring you in during the match. Coach, that you as a coach, you want to see. Yeah, but me say Omona best starting on the ahead of him. In, based on tactically, it's a tactical change. So, what was the idea behind playing Sule Mutare and? Hey, the other can say the idea is, it's not football. It's not about the strength. And I, I reach those who can keep the ball and give the accurate passes. And Awako and Sule are very good on it. So during the first half, it shows. But it got to a point that you could see some of them because of the running and other stars, you know, they are got they got tired. So I have to. Bring new idea. Yeah, my pastor, who do you know? Do you understand the system of formation? What did you see? And what show say we are started? We started with four four two, and later we changed to. Yes. But at least you should have get the team list and what, and what the system on the team list that you can talk about it. Backlash and then. Playing Kotoko, we all know they are informed this season, so you can't enter the field and then play casually. You need to step up your game. Though it's it's my first Super Cup, but then this is not the first time I'm playing. I'm playing against Kotoko, so I just made everything simple for myself. Do the simplest thing on the field, and then probably my my good was enough to get me this. Though we don't enter the field to play for this, but then it's it's just part of the game. I'm coach. The best game uh, against Legon Cities. This is not a game. Right? If I'm using the junior team for us, Kotoko cannot score me. <laughs> yeah, in the first place, um, the name is Prosper Nate Ogum, not Nate. Right? Um, I think we played a good game. Um, uh, we tried to go by a game model by keeping the ball and trying to circulate the ball and then making sure that we create a lot of spaces in the middle of the park where we utilize uh, the spaces that we, we created. Again, I think we created some few decent chances that uh, we could have scored, but then we couldn't convert them. So on the whole, I think uh, we have shown in this game that uh, gradually the team is becoming better. If you look at the tempo and the temperament of the game. Playing um, a derby with uh, uh, seven of the players being, about six of the players being starters for the first time in a derby like this. And you couldn't see that these guys were debutants uh, in the derby. So I'm impressed and I'm happy about uh, the performance of the team. And I'm sure with time, the team will become better than we are now. Can you, your take on the game? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I'll give praise to Almighty Allah for taking us this far. It hasn't been easy, but we've had a point. It's better than none, so we'll take it from there and build on it. Can you, as a player, coming into this game, was this the result you expected? Well, I wouldn't say it was the result we expected, but it has happened. So we have to take it in good faith and build upon it. So it's a leak. A point away is, is good, and we'll build up on it and then work on the subsequent matches. Coach, the same question. Yeah, I think our expectations were very high before the match, looking at uh, 
the level at which the team had picked up to. So everybody was expecting that uh, we'll get uh, not not this. I mean, we'll get a better score uh, outcome, not this outcome. But then um, uh, this is hustle folk that we played. Um, if you come to their home grounds and you get a point, uh, I think we, we have to make do it. But uh, everybody knew that uh, we we're, were going to get a different outcome. But that's what happened. How would you describe these results? A point gain or two As I said earlier on, um, we've gotten a point, and it's okay. Uh, there's nothing we can do about it. The good thing, uh, if you reflect, the good thing is that the team didn't drop in performance. Rather, we played better. So uh, what I would say is that because of the, the way we are playing better, uh, it gave our opponent that information that they have to step up their game. And I'm sure you all attest to the fact that they've never played this way before in the league. I mean, I, I stand for correction, though. I mean, with all due respect to them, I respect Hassel Folk. But if you look at the, 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 the tempo at which they played, the temperament with which they played, the desire to win this game, uh, you, you see that they have stepped up their game in uh, their, their, their performance in this game. So a point are we looking at the way they also played. I think it's OK. Coach, 17 matches, um, and today your talisman, Mbella, he did not come to the party. Was he not listening to the instructions or because the House of Home defenders were too strong for him today? This is uh, uh, three questions in one. <laughs> Interesting. Right. Uh, let me start from the, the, the end. I think Mbella came to the party. Um, as I said earlier on, the defense of Hasselfuck knew how dreadful he has been. So they also step up their game in terms of their physical ability and in terms of their tactical approach. So uh, to me, as a coach, uh, I think he came to the party. He created a lot of movement without the ball, which gave us a lot of spaces there. Um, first round is over. Uh, as I always tell my players, you can never satisfy me. Uh, it's not about arrogance. but. If I coach you and I see the quality in you, I will tell you where you have to be at a certain point. And I think that uh, there's a lot in this young gentleman I'm working with, and they can do better. So uh, we have to step up, because another 17 matches to be played. We need to step up so that we stay at the top and make sure that we don't draw points. It was three, eh? I can't explain anything apart from the fact that those who started are equally good like they are. So, tactically, how we wanted to approach the game, uh, we couldn't have brought all the four in. So, that was why they had to be on the bench. So, uh, and you saw it uh, Mudasiru and then Sheriff Mohammed. You saw how wonderfully they played. When Agadas and Blay also came in, they kept the standard and even added a little bit of a tempo to it. So, these are four quality, good, talented midfielders that I have. And as a coach, I need to manage them well so that they don't drop in performance. So uh, to me, uh, the reason why they were on the bench was that those who started were as equally good as them. Yeah, in terms of the injury situation, he's fit now. But you know, uh, we have match fitness. I think he's, he's here to gain his match fitness. Uh, but then. Uh, we, brought in, we brought him in based on the fact of what we saw at training. I mean, his, his training was good. It was of quality. And we thought it wise to bring him in. And in high-profile matches like this, I think you need players of his caliber to get just that one chance and cause the havoc. Coach Daniel from TV3 Sports. Coach, you played the Ghana Premier League and the pressure has ended. What do you think? Going around, what did you see and what do you think should change going to the second round of the Premier League? I think there are certain venues when you go there, it's not friendly at all. I mean, <laughs> when you go there, they treat you like hated enemies, not like friendly rivals. I mean, uh, you go there, the intimidation, the threats, some even want to beat you up. Which you yourself, you ask the question, you know those venues. So I am of the view that the, the, the security component 
of, uh, of our league should be beefed up so that when we go to such venues, we'll be safe. Uh, I think, uh, and then uh, some of the, the pitches that we play on, uh, they are not good at all. Uh, they don't give us the opportunity to express ourselves. I mean, it doesn't give the players the opportunity to express themselves. If you look at the quality of that grass ball stadium, the pitch today, you saw the quality of the game. Both teams try to keep the ball on the turf. And I think if all the venues have good quality pitches like this, I think our, 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 our league will be better and this La Liga and EPL and what have you will be a turn of the past because there are a lot of young talent in the country. And when we get the pitches, I think we can get there. Thank you. Coach, uh, the we take it match after match. You know, this is just a young team with our boss around. So we'll build upon our subsequent matches and then see what Allah has for us. Thank you.